Hi everyone, today we're diving into Cascade, the engine behind the agentic capabilities in the Windsurf IDE and our JetBrains extensions. Right now, I have the Windsurf IDE open, and I want to start by showing you the different modes Cascade can operate in. Chat and write modes are where Cascade's true agentic power shines. Using chat mode when you want to explore and retrieve information from your code base without making any changes, ideal for code discovery, Q&A, and understanding patterns. Switch to write mode when you're ready to take action, edit across files, directories, generate documentation, run terminal commands, or even build complete testing suites from natural language prompts. Cascade intelligently pulls context across your code base to power both modes. Let's walk through an example that showcases Cascade's ability to search across the code base and refactor code by creating new files to improve modularity. In this file, book.java, we currently have three classes defined. Suppose we want to follow standard Java conventions and move each class into its own file. We can ask Cascade to handle this refactoring for us. For example, if I use the prompt, refactor the code in this file and move each class into its own individual file, here we can see that Cascade is starting to create a plan about the steps it might take and after it has come up with the plan, it's starting to execute on each of the steps. One of my favorite ways to interact with Cascade for larger scale tasks is to plan the tasks first without making any edits, then starting to execute on the plan that we created. As you can see, the title and author classes have been successfully extracted from the book.java file and placed into their own separate files. And that's just the beginning. To learn more about the best practices on how to leverage Windsurf, go check out our other content on Windsurf University.